this is one and he's actually a Cornus Rex. He came in last weekend because he was just irritated in his bladder. He was taking off after a pee. He was just really uncomfortable. And so we had a look at him and initially we thought he was just a uh, irritated bladder like they sometimes do get. But it was a little bit unusual because he was so young. So he was admitted and we kept an eye on him um, and waited till we could send some samples off to the lab on the Monday. But really he just wasn't doing well the Sunday. He was starting to have some blood in his pee as well and he was just getting lethargic. On Monday he was really not well at all. So we redid a blood test and had dropped a huge amount which meant he was losing blood somewhere. And so we're a wee bit suspicious he might have had some rat bait or something similar. He started on mom the an antidote just in case, but he was deteriorating fast. We looked at sending him somewhere for a blood transfusion for a cat because we don't usually have that many cats available. Um, but that wasn't going to be an option and he was deteriorating. So the only way to save one was to actually consider taking blood out of a dog and giving it to him because he was flat and really getting non-responsive. So we did this reasonably quickly and started dripping the blood into him and by that evening he was actually starting to purr again and almost could sit up. So he's been making slow progress which is just amazing and he's now starting to eat, he's starting to move around more, he can even jump um, his blood count has come up and uh, so he's doing really well. We're just looking into Cornus rexes because apparently there is an inherited uh, coagulopathy or clotting problem that they can get. So uh, that will be interesting to follow up. But yeah, he's one very lucky cat. There's one, aren't you one? Good boy.